Lenny, this is Ricardo from La Dolce Vita. You must come immediately. Stevie D is dead. You've been thinking about treating yourself. Just waiting for the right moment. That combination of sportiness, style, and reliability. This is a car you see yourself in. Power and handling for long drive. Oh, can you believe this weather? I'm not leaving this pool. Better be a girl. My dad. Hey, dad. What am I doing? I'm getting ready to meet with some investors. Why? No, I don't want to come into the office. Not today. I got to put a suit on. Jack's office. Yeah, I'll be there in an hour. Bro, I saw that commercial again. I'm telling you, the guy looks just like you. Bobby, I thought you were going to get me an agent so I could do commercials. I'm working on it. These things take time. So what else do you like to do? You like you, you go hiking? What do you what do you like to do? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm super. I'm like right in the middle of something. If you don't. Well, when mind. you get out of here, what do you do? do, you do what do you do? The yoga? You should do some yoga. We'll get a private. You know, we'll, we'll sweat I'm, it out a little bit. You know. I'm flooded with work right now. I just I, don't really I, have time. I can't figure out why I haven't seen you around L.A. Uh, because I grew up in Connecticut, because I went to college and then to law school. Because well, look, don't, don't I, you think, given the closeness of our families, that we should get to know each other a little? I'm going to move this. Don't move things, thank you. Um, you know, I actually think that's a very good reason not to. We represent your father. I don't think that would be in anyone's best interest. I am interest. not my father. I have my own business interests. In fact, I'm looking into investing in a club right now, and I could use a lawyer. Why don't you just come out to dinner with us? You can meet some of the investors. I'll tell you what, bring that red pen, because it's really sexy. We could have, like, a legal meeting. What are you, what are you reading? No, no, no. No, um, I'm Look, sorry. This, no. This is taxation. Listen, this I have is exactly plans. what Can I need to know. Can you documents for your I father? I need to know about Things. taxation. Hun, give us a minute, will you? Listen, uh, i tell you what. I'm going to take a card, and I'm going to call you. Dario. D. I'm going to call you D. Yeah, don't. Those for me? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Hey, what's up? Of course it went fine. Are you going now? I'll be there in about an hour. All right, cool. So you want to come to Vegas with me this weekend? Maybe. I got to work. Well, I'm flexible. Good night, you off. Let me check your schedule. Where's Mickey? He's not here on Tuesday nights. It's kind of slow, right? Sundance. Hey. Hey. When are you gonna dance for me? Excuse me. Where's your manners? Can't you see she's talking to me? No. Go yourself. What did you say? <laughs> got it. I got it. Just hold on a second, okay? Go back to the zoo, guys. It's cool. Relax. Okay. Can you cover for me for 15? Thank you. Where, where, where are you going? He gave me $1,000 to dance for him. Are you kidding me? Now I can go to Vegas with you. Oh! It's Emily Post. Hey, are you good in finance? Because I gave her a grand for a lap dance. <laughs> How much do you think it'll cost you? <laughs> oh, am I good with finance? That's a good one, you know? <clears throat> That's where you belong!
Two days in Vegas. That's all I'm asking. No. What, you don't like Vegas? I don't. <sighs> Not at all. <laughs> all right, well, uh, how about Cabo? It's beautiful. It's like you're not in Mexico. Um, I have a lot of work to do, so there's a client up front for you. Perfect. Excuse me. Wait, what's the story with her? Does she have a boyfriend or something? Shit, it's my father. All right, tell you what. Anything you tell me about her would be greatly appreciated. How many people were with him? Seven, I think. Excuse me. Can I help you? Agent Harris, Agent Shields, we'd like to have a look around. What for? Son of a crime boss died, mysteriously, in a strip club. But we found coke on him, OK? Bartender said he was drunk out of his mind. No altercation anyone can remember. Went to the bathroom, the floor was wet, and he bumped his head. Good night, sweet prince. Sweet Prince or not, uh, Detective V, I'd, I'd like to see the bar receipts from last night. If that's okay with you. Sure. It's the redhead with the big tits. Okay, I'll take care of it. All right, okay. Got it. Uh, then give us a minute, huh? Yeah, then give us a minute. Sure, Angel. So, what happened last night? What do you mean? Don't lie to me. What happened at that strip club? Oh, you mean that? That was nothing. No? No, we were at the club. We are having a good time. This, this big shot was there. He was all f***ed up. All over well, the well, girls. He started all of a sudden, you're a bouncer? No, he got on a line with me. I saw him in the bathroom. He bumped me. I threw him up against the wall, and I walked out. That's it? Yeah, I threw him into the stalls, and I walked out. And that was it. Yeah, well, he, he cracked his skull open. He died of a brain hemorrhage. What, are you kidding me? Not for me. I saw him on the floor. No, I'm not kidding you. I mean, if he did, he deserved it. The guy's a scumbag. That was Nick Grimaldi's kid. Who? Nick Grimaldi, one of the biggest guys in Philly. Why? Well, how was I supposed to know? I, I, I mean, he was all coked up. What was I supposed to do? You know, it doesn't help that you get your mail delivered to that slut house. Well, you gotta do something, Dad. You gotta, you gotta grow up. You really do. I, I don't know what to do with you. I mean, I, I got you running errands around like, like a messenger because you don't want to do any work. All you have to do is sit there and inherit what I've spent my life building. But. It's not enough for you. You want to be a gangster. You're only tough because of who I know. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm really sorry, but I swear I didn't do it. Yeah, well, they think you did it, and they don't need evidence. Please, please, just get me out of this. I, I, I promise I won't f around anymore. I'll do whatever you want. I'll, I'll learn the business. Please. Son, I'll do everything I can to protect you. You know that. So now just get out of here, huh? Lay low for a couple of days. Listen. I brought you two guys over here because I want to get this thing settled. I want to hear what's going on and I want to get it over with. Is it okay with you? Yeah. Okay with you? <sighs> My heart is broken over this, Stone. I agree it should have never happened and I'm embarrassed. But this was an accident. You know, and, and I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, Nick's son, he was under the influence. He, he had narcotics on him. He, uh, he, he, he was getting rough with hey, the can I, can, I, can, I, can I say something? Is he serious? I mean, does he think this is really going to help? He comes all the way from Pansy Town, and he calls my dead kid a junkie. Does he think that's going to help us? Sir? Jesus Christ, Nick. My kid is no angel, but 
This was self-defense. Self-defense. Is you kidding me? Self-defense? All right. All right. Let's just calm down here. Take a minute. Anthony, you have something to offer him? I got, I got a big resort going up in, uh, in Tahoe, and Nick can have all the contracts on the California side. That's not good enough. Well, what about the football thing? Football thing? I, I don't even have that deal yet. I don't know if that's going to happen. I already got a piece of the Eagles. What the hell do I want with a Los Angeles football team? All right, Nick, put, put, put something on the table. I want justice. Come on. This was an accident. Be reasonable. Be reasonable? Be reasonable? My son is dead. He's dead. Someone has to pay for this. Okay, Nick. That's why I got you here, okay? I mean, I just want to stop this and stop the bloodshed before it goes crazy. Now, this thing could have been an accident. accident. We stopped saying an accident. It wasn't a mistake. Look, he's lucky that I'm even here talking about it. He's not part of this thing of ours, Tony. Huh? I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm only here out of respect for you, Tom, but you know, this isn't working. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen, we're all friends. We've known each other a long time, and we're all Italians. This guy? Hey, this hey. This guy, he has, he has the best of both worlds. See, he hobnobs with the, with the politicians and the CEOs and the press, but he wants all the protection that comes with this thing of ours. All right, me, I've given my life to this thing. And my little boy, my, my, little, my son, my only... He's gone. He's gone. And he will never be back. And there is nothing you could do or say that is going to make that right. You could offer me the whole NFL. That's how it is. First time in my life, I was ever nervous in a meeting. It's hysterical, that guy. Help me through this. What are my options? Maybe after the emotion subsided, we can go. in a hundred years? Would you turn that goddamn thing off? You got 20 minutes on your life, and you're texting. Stevie, this is that commercial I keep telling you about. <laughs> that guy looks just like you. Who, that guy? Yeah. Yeah, he does. You know, the guy gets paid every time that commercial runs. Are you kidding? I see this thing like 10 times today. Yeah. I mean, as actors, they want to do a series and movies, but you can make good money doing commercials. I told you I should be doing commercials. I'm serious. Look at that guy. Pop, isn't that crazy? Cut the crap. I wish you saw what I saw yesterday. As a deputy mayor, I am working very, very hard to get the mayor on board, but there is a process for a project of this scale that involves many players. It's a very fluid process, and the more that Sacramento weighs in, as well as the other local interests, the, the more pressure there will be for a transparent bidding process. You're starting to get on my nerves. This is the 10,000th meeting we've had. Who do you think you're dealing with? I've been paying you and your people off for five years to get on this deal. Now, I'm gonna say this once. When that stadium goes up, I'm digging the hole. If I'm not, I'm digging one for you. <clears throat> Any news? No. Stevie's safe at the house. Listen, I've been thinking about this thing. It's a long shot, but we're running out of options. Remember that guy in the car commercial? The one that all Stevie's friends said looked like him? Yeah. We find that kid. And we hire him to play the role of your son. Hire him? Yeah. We, 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 look, we tell him it's a business thing or something, right? I mean, we, we, we get this kid. We throw a little money at him. We set up on an apartment in a car. We take Stevie. We stash him. We let this kid run around town a little bit. Send him to Vegas if we have to. Mickey makes a move on him. Story over. Hey, Lynn, have you lost your mind? Have you thought any of this through? Suppose we convince this guy to take this job, whatever the hell that is, and then uh, we get everybody to go for it. How do we bring Stevie back? I mean, this, this actor gets whacked. 
a few weeks later, Steve is back. How long do you think Nick's gonna go for that? Ange, we live in the plastic surgery capital of the fucking world. Here's a little work done. We bring him back, we sit him down, and we tell him, look, kid, this is how your life's gonna be. I mean, we're running out of options here, Ange. Nikki's a loose can. I mean, we gotta do something. Hi, Jack. How are you? Yeah, hi, Angelo. Uh, listen, I feel a little, uh, I feel a little silly to call you about this, but, uh... Jack, please. That's, uh... It's about Stevie. Yeah, he's, uh... He's been coming around the office a lot, and, uh... I know he's kind of taken an interest in Daria, and... Yeah, you know, personally, I... I got no beef with Stevie, but, uh... Daria's new to L.A., you know? Enough said, Jack. I'll talk to him. Appreciate it. Thanks, Angelo. It's, it's good you called. Uh, speaking of Stevie, I, uh... I'm thinking about treating yourself. Just waiting for the... Angelo? Um... Sportiness, style... It, it's nothing, Jack. I'm, I'm sorry I bugged you, okay? You sure? Sure. We'll, we'll talk, talk soon. Bye-bye. For your meeting this afternoon. Thank you, Donna. Mm -hmm. uh, take a look at this on TV. Does that look like my son? Wow, it really does. Just mm -hmm. like him. But you know, I always thought you had the movie star looks, Angelo. Huh. <laughs> That's why I pay you. <laughs> this better be good. I, I, I can't say things look good. And I'll tell you something, Ange. He's as mad as you as he is your kid. <sighs> Tony, there's got to be something. I'm trying. Nick is a boss. He can do what he wants to do. Thanks, Tony. I'll be in touch. <sighs> yeah, Ange? Find out all you can about this actor where he's from, who he knows, everything. If I get into this thing, I don't want to find out that he has a, a, an uncle who's a DA in the Bronx. Fourteen? Nope. Fifteen. Good. Don't count on your fingers. Put your hands on the table. <laughs> I gotta get this. I'll be right back. Here, you practice. Hey, Max, what's up? Uh, hey, kiddo, uh, check your email. We're hot today. <laughs> That's great, what is it? Commercial audition. Another commercial. National network plus cable. Oh, plus internet, not too shabby. Well, what's it for? Dog food. But it's uh, organic, very upscale. <laughs> I don't care if it's radioactive, as long as it pays, confirm me. Atta boy, kiddo. Knock him dead. Everything okay? Yeah, sorry, I said I'd take a quick call. Well, it could be your big break. Not this one, but maybe the next one. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Who's winning? Hey, Carl. Carl, there's a car in my spot. Every time I come home, there's like three new cars back there. Oh, it's not me. Sometimes it's, it's not me. You it's want to find you. him? Let's find him. You look stressed. Uh, Come here. <laughs> not today, man. I'll see it's you later. Description. Hi, Ange. This is our guy, Michael Rose, age 33. Rose? Is he Italian? Yeah. He hasn't done much to speak of, though. Huh? Here's his IMDb page. What? It's a website, uh, Internet Movie Database, it's called. Everybody in the industry keeps a profile on it. Huh. All right, get this. Never been married, no kids. Lives in Hollywood alone. I mean, this guy even have a girlfriend. Here's the best part, though. He was an only child. His mother and father died when he was a kid. He was raised by an aunt 
She died a year ago. Jesus Christ. It's <laughs> off. We're probably doing this poor bastard a favor. <laughs> and there's probably a handful of people in the world that know this guy even exists. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey. The hey. bald guys. What's up, Chase? All right, what's up? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You? Elizabeth is pregnant. Oh, man, that's great. Congratulations. Thanks. We're pretty stoked. Where have you been? You've been in my aunt for the past few months. No, I'm just, you know, laying low. Why don't you go over for dinner one night? Elizabeth wants to set you up in front of her friend. No, 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 no. no. I, I don't want to meet anybody right now. I'm, I'm broke. I'm, I've got nothing going on. I'm sick of L.A. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of everything. What do you mean? I see your commercial running constantly. Yeah, well, I spent that money a long time ago. Just say the word, and I can get you temp work at the office. No, 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 no. All right, no. You know what you need? Get out of town for a bit. Take a vacation. Yeah, I'll take a vacation from being broke and unemployed. Doesn't have to be anything extravagant. Just get away from things. Change your mindset. Yeah. You'll see. Next. I gotta go. All right. Give my best to Elizabeth, man. Great seeing you. Right, I'm serious. <laughs> Do it. Don't call me till you get back. Hello? Hi, Michael Rose. Yes, who's this? Yes, my name's Lenny Spoglio. I'm calling on behalf of the Monaco Industries. Uh, we're in the process of casting a project, and we'd really like to take a meeting with you. Well, how did you get my name? Oh, we saw your uh, commercial. It's presently on the air. Really? Well, what's the project? Well, unfortunately, that's something we would prefer not to discuss over the phone. But we would love to have a meeting with you. Well, I usually take appointments through my agent. We would be more than happy to contact your agent. Uh, no, that's OK. Um, is there pay? Yes, of course there's pay. Um, OK, why not? Great. Yeah, let me give you the particulars. Hey, Max, what's up? Hey, another hot day for us, kiddo. That's great. What is it? New project. Lots of potential. Uh, TV, film? It's a brand new internet show. Oh, uh, Amazon, Netflix? No, no, straight to YouTube. Uh, Listen, Doris just emailed you the script and all the details. It's noon tomorrow. OK, Max, I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Get Striker's night again and the door opens. What the fuck? What the fuck is right? Where's the rest of it? Yeah. Yeah, hey, hey Max, it's Michael. I, I, I just saw the sides. Um, there's only one line? Yeah, well, that's a great line, isn't it? And there's a whole page full of action. Uh, yeah, he runs out in the street and gets hit by a bus. I mean, come on, Max. I mean, one line? I can see that maybe on a, on a movie or a good TV show, but, but a little nothing project with no pay? Maybe they'll bring you back. I, I get hit by a bus. I don't know what to say, kiddo. That's the part they want you for. You still want to go in on it? It's kind of humiliating, you know? I'm trying, kiddo. Yeah, you know, Max, I'm not a kid. <sighs> Come on, you know this town. They like heat. And... I just haven't been able to get your hut. I could cancel it if you want. It's your career. Yeah, it sure is. I thought you'd prefer a blonde. What the fuck? Fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey guys, no improvising, please. Just say the line is written. And please don't pull out any weapons in anticipation of your impending assassination. I don't want any guns pointed at me. Uh, Michael Rose. Any questions? Nope. Looks like it's striker's night again. And the door opens. What the fuck? Great. Perfect. Thank you. So this is Michael Rose. Michael. Angelo DeMarco. 
Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Thanks. So, do you know who I am? <laughs> not really. I mean, I looked you up. I know you're in construction, not entertainment. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been an actor? Well, I don't know, about 10 years. Mm, any good? Am I any good? <laughs> yes. Ask me if there's a reel. You got a reel? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking for a very convincing actor to play the part of my son. Is this a, a movie? Or... Uh, it's more like a, a real life performance. Ask me if he has any improv experience. Are you, have you done... Uh, yeah, look, yeah, I'm not sure what you're getting at, but um, I, I don't want to do any reality TV. No, no, this this is not going to be on television. Um, I, I need for you to play the part of the, the man is going to take over my business. In real life? Yes. Uh, I run basically a uh, family business. I have one son, uh, Stephen, or Stevie D, as he is more commonly uh, known. Um, my wife died when uh, when he was young, and, and uh, I wanted to make it easy for him. So, uh, unfortunately, I spoiled him. He parties, he stays out all night. He's a wayward son. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And um, we had a disagreement, and he took off. I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't be able to get him back anyway. So he's doing this to hurt me because uh, I'm involved in some very serious negotiations, hundreds of millions of dollars. As my successor, he's part of these negotiations. And for people I deal with, uh, you know, stability is a big deal. So why would they take a chance on me if there is turmoil in my family, my company? Yeah, well, I would say if he's not that interested in the business, I wouldn't want him involved in such a big deal, but what do I know? <laughs> well, this is about family. Do you know anything about that? that? I, I don't, to be honest with you. Um, it's my son. This is your son? Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you, even as his father, I, I, I look at pictures of you and I have to take a second look. But do you really think I'm going to be able to fool anybody who knows him? Well, I'm not asking you to go to the family reunion. All I need for you to be seen. We'll get you an office here, a place to live, a car, expense account. We can even probably come up with some company every now and then. Man. <laughs> All I need for you to do is to play this part uninterrupted. I mean, I would think that's an acting role that someone would die for. Well, I mean, why don't you just cut him off? Once the money runs out, he's got to come back, right? I, 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 I would like to do that, but um, I need him now. He knows that. There's no dummy. Okay, well, I just got to ask again. This isn't some reality TV bullshit, right? Because one, I don't want to do that, and two, I'm a union actor, and if I'm going to be in something in TV or film, it's got to be legit. Listen, I swear on my wife's grave, it's not going to be on television or in the movies. And as far as the unions go, as long as you're with me, you don't have to worry about unions. And when this is said and done, we have a ton of contacts in the entertainment. Well, uh, how long would you need me for? A month, unless, you know, my son wises up and comes back. I, I don't know. I don't know. A month is a long time. Well, the uh, money talk money with you? Well, he said there was pay. Yeah. How about a hundred? Like a hundred bucks a day? <laughs> no, a hundred thousand. A hundred... a hundred thousand dollars? Plus expenses. Not a nickel out of your own pocket. A hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, sure. And I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll also throw in 25 to your favorite charity. Do you have a favorite charity? Yeah, that'd be amazing. All I ask from you is that no one knows about this. While you're working for me, no contact with friends or family. I, I need someone who can go completely undercover. Is that okay with you? Hey, but for a hundred grand, I'll say my goodbyes and be done with them. Huh. Now that's the right way to look at it. All right, so it's a deal. Let's do it. Okay. Well, look, I, I, a month is a long time to be away. I, I, I just, I just want to sleep on it. it. 
Can I get back to you? Um, of course. Okay. Great. All right. Nice meeting you. Good to meet you too. Honey? Thanks. Follow him. I don't want to lose him now. Well, boys, this is it for a while. <laughs> you look sexy in that thing. You know, when you go back for plastic, you should tell the doctor to go all the way. <laughs> go fuck yourself. And when you're done, get the jacuzzi going. Back is jacked from these heels. Yes, ma'am. You go get our bags. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> OK, all the best, babe. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Hey, Max, what's up? Um, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, kiddo. I'm closing the agency. What? I've had enough. I, the, the business has changed, the town has changed. I've only hung in there this long because, because I believed in the people I represented. I, now, I gotta start thinking about myself. Well, what does this mean for me? Well, I, uh, I called every agent I know in town, asking them to consider taking my clients. No one bid on you. No one? Uh, come on, you've been banging around this town for a number of years, and for one reason or another, you never made it to the next level. Hey, it's on me. I never got you to the next level, but... Michael, you're still young. You're a charmer. You're a good actor. I know something is going to pop for you soon. I know it. 20 years ago, I could have moved mountains for you. Now I don't know how anything works anymore. I'm sorry, kiddo. Here's your ID. Credit cards and passport. Passport? Am I traveling? Yeah, never know. Uh, you got a uh, wallet and a set of keys? I'm gonna store that in a safe here at the house. We return to you upon your completion of your employment, Mr. DeMarco, along with 100 grand. Who is Stevie D? And I know he's Angelo's son, but who is he? What's he like? He's you, kid. That's all you gotta worry about. Well, I mean, just in terms of being the character. Oh, kid. All anyone really wants is for you to just be yourself, okay? Now, does anyone know you're here? No, not specifically. Okay, while you're employed with Mr. DeMarco, you're not to communicate with any family or friends. That means no Twitter, no Gmail, none of that shit. You got it? Yes. Good, because you'll have access to sensitive material regarding Mr. DeMarco's business dealings. Understood? Understood. Good. You got a cell phone? Yeah. You don't want you to have that, too. I'm gonna put that in the safe also. Okay. Yeah. This one will have all the contacts you need. You'll be staying in the guest house located at the front of the property so you can spend more time with Angelo. Or should I say, Dad? This is gonna be your car right here. Here's your key. Whose is this? That's Angelo's old car. Nobody drives that. Can I take that one? Yeah, if you want. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. All right, let's go in the house. I'll get him to switch the plates while we do that, okay? Great. All right, come on. Clothes are in the closet there on the right. All the toiletries and everything you need. It's in here in the bathroom. I'll have to have a pocket change and a dresser, all right? Security knows you're gonna be staying there, so they're gonna let you come and go as you please. We're gonna have dinner at 7 o'clock at Dolce Vita in Beverly Hills. You ever been? Uh, no. Yeah, you're gonna love it, all right? Throw something on. Do I need to uh, keep receipts for expenses? Nobody cares about that around here. You will no longer be known as Michael Rose, and now Stevie D. 
You walk into a department store to buy some underwear, it's DVD. You get stopped by a cop, it's DVD. Someone bumps into you in the street. I'm Stevie D. Welcome home, Stevie D. Hey, you know, I had a tough night last night, so I'm Stevie D. Oh, there's that guy. Here you go. Have a seat. Hey, 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 how are you? Thanks. Something to drink, Mr. Stevie? Uh, yes, I'll have a uh, scotch neat. I take it I come here a lot? No, no, no. This is my place. Uh, I call it my kitchen. George Raft, the uh, first owner, my father bankrolled it, a lot of celebrities, dignitaries have dined here in the past, and this was Sinatra's table. Nobody sits there, out of respect. Look, I, I think I need to get a better sense of who Stevie is. Well, you, you fooled everybody here, including Ricardo, and he's been here 20 years. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice. Salud. Salud. Bang. Uh, order whatever you want. Are you not eating? No, I've, I've got to be someplace. You want me to stay? You gotta eat, don't you? Be at the office tomorrow noon. Have a good evening, Mr. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Nicole? A lovely bartender invited you to dine at the bar. Okay. I'm not offended that you never called. What we had was what we had. But it would be a shame if it was only once. job now can I give you a ride home you're a lot nicer than you used to be hey Stevie oh my man Stevie D, yeah, I, Stevie D. I didn't even see you there I'm sorry you, man. Man. good man how are you, you? my calls bro I've been out of town I'm sorry I'm sorry hey listen I want to talk to you about this new club I'm looking at. Yeah, this, um, I, I got a little, got to get rid of her. Um, talk right. later? Right, sorry. Call me later. Yes. Call me, bro. Yes. Where were you last night? What? You didn't come home. You told me not to keep receipts. Now I'm punching the clock? That's something Stevie would say. We want it in the boardroom for a meeting. A meeting? Yeah, Angelo's waiting. Go ahead. What's it about? How the fuck should I know? Go in and just keep your mouth shut unless you're asked. How's everything else? Uh, satellite TV isn't working. All right, I'll take care of it. Go on, go to your meeting. Hi, Donna. Can you tell me where the meeting is? The conference room. It's down the corridor to the left. Are you going to the meeting? Stevie, how are you? Good to see you, sir. Are you, uh, are you joining us? Jack, Daria, thank you for coming. Um, Stevie has some new responsibilities, and he'll be joining us. Yeah. Stevie, I believe you've met my daughter, Daria. Yes, we have. Hi, Stevie. Hi again. Shall we? Please. <clears throat> They go with the kid. Well, Jack bought it. Uh, Donna thinks it's Stevie, and she saw the commercial on television. How do you think it's going? 
Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. He's banging the bartender from Dolce Vita. Oh, oh good for him. So he likes brunettes, huh? Well, to each his own. Where is he now? I got him uh, set up in a conference room until I get him an office. What are you talking about? What office? I don't know. Work. An office. And he's an office. Work? What work? He's got no work. He's got just no work. Get him out of there. Get him, get him on the street. Some, come on. All right, what right, are you right, doing? All right. Hey, kid. We need to talk. Sure, Len. Look, we're very impressed you want to come to work in the morning. But we don't need you here. I mean, Stevie D never came here. We need you out in the world. Look, if we need you to come in for a meeting or something, we'll call you. <laughs> what do I do? Man, oh, go get something to eat, go get laid. Do what you did yesterday. Why don't you go see a movie? They got a Cassavetes festival at the Egyptian. You know, I find his work to be really refreshing. Call improv. Come on, grab your coat. I call you later, okay? Okay, Lynn. Bye, Donna. Have fun. Cool. Do uh, these need to be dropped off at Jack's office? Take them. Mr. D, I will take those from you, and you have a lovely day. Oh, I was, um, I, I ran into Dari at a meeting yesterday, and I was hoping I could just... Dari is very busy today. Uh, quick hello. Look, kiddo, she's the new girl in town. It's very flattering to have someone drop in at work to chat you up, but we do have work to do. So, I will take those papers from you. Well, look, I won't be a bother then. Uh, would you tell her I said hello? I will do that. Sorry if I was grumpy. I'm craving my afternoon latte. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> These will be ready tomorrow. I assume you want to pick them up. Yes, I do. See you tomorrow. Listen, I don't want you doing the, your artist thing when he comes out, okay? Just plug him. Listen, he wants it done in front of his old man. He was very specific. In front of his old man? What is this? I don't know, some kind of twisted father-son bullshit. God. Man, I'm starving. Yeah. What should we eat? I don't know. How about the polo lounge? I hear Wilbur goes there every day. Which one? There's more than one. Yeah, it's Marky Mark, and there's the one that was in the movie I See Dead People. I only know the one. What are you, ooh, ooh, you... Ooh, there he is. You see him? Yeah, I got him. Yeah. God, I hope he's having dinner with his old man. We can get this over with, and I can have a little me time before I have to go home. How do you not know there's two Wahlbergs? How do you not know that? What just, are you, an Amish? Just drive the car. Can you do these two? Sure. Thank you. Just missed your boyfriend. Who? Oh, <laughs> Stevie. He was not such a mess today. You know... I saw him yesterday, and he seemed very composed, even dressed up, like a totally different guy. He's kind of sexy. Okay, now you're pushing it, don't you think? <laughs> was, uh, was that Stevie I saw? Yes, he just left. Uh, what did he want? Just dropping off some documents. Excuse me? Are you uh, joining me for dinner tonight? I don't know, I may work late. Well, uh, how about tomorrow night? The uh, Shapiros are coming over. I'd oh, love for you to. Oh, Dad, remember I told you about that event I'm going to? I can't cancel, so last minute. You sure, sweetheart? I'm positive. Look, Dad, you've been so great. And I know I'm staying with you till my place is ready, and I really appreciate that. But I can't keep coordinating my social schedule with you like this every night, okay? I understand. Okay. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I finished the one outside. This one's good to go. You want one upstairs? Stevie. Yo, Stevie. 
The polls down here are done. You still want one upstairs in the bedroom? Yep. Yeah, okay. Got it. Good afternoon. Mr. TVD, how are you? Well, I didn't want a chance to repeat of yesterday, so um, I brought you a latte and uh, a little something sweet. Oh, my God. This is chocolate. Indeed it is. Mr. Stevie, thank you. My pleasure. You're an angel. <laughs> well, uh, I will just uh, be grabbing oh, yeah. those documents, and it was lovely seeing Dari's you. Dari's actually at a lunch that's running late. Daria, yes. yes, of course. How is but Daria doing today? I do happen to have her schedule in front of me, oh. and she's going to this fundraiser at a museum tonight. What a coincidence. So am I. Well, hopefully I'll bump into it. I'll bump. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Enjoy your evening. Ah, oh, good evening, sir. Good evening. What is your last name, please? Uh, well, last name is uh, DeMarco. Okay, D-E? Uh, D-I, but I, I'm, I'm actually I'm not on the list. Um, oh. I was hoping um, I could be. This is a very exclusive event, and it's only for patron-level membership? Ah, uh, what does it take to become a patron? $1,000. Cash okay? DVD, you can do this. Stevie? I thought that was you. I'm surprised to see you here. Are you saying I'm incompatible with modern art? I just didn't know you were a member. Oh, I've been a member for a long time. I thought it just opened. Yeah, well, I'm a charter member. I mean, going way back, like to the planning stages. A long time ago. In fact, I think Angelo even built the building. Your father? My father, whose name is Angelo. It's just easier than calling him dad all day. I guess that keeps it professional. Listen, I, I feel as though we've gotten off on, on the wrong foot in the past, and um, I, I just want to apologize. Thank you, um, but apology's not necessary. Well, what's your connection here? I was an art history major before I went to law school. Oh, me too, except I skipped law school. Where'd you go to undergrad? That's a good question. Um, I'm going to say UCLA. Why the uncertainty? Well, you know, I, um, I transferred in, and then I, I got kicked out at some point, and, uh, right. <laughs> and, and it didn't exactly finish. Sounds like Stevie D. <laughs> um, are, you, um, are you doing anything afterwards? Would you like to have a drink to officially turn the page? Oh, thank you. That's a very kind offer, but I'm actually here with some friends, um, so I should get going. But I'll see you around. Of course. It's the most expensive no I've ever gotten. Personally, I'm evolving on the whole orcas in captivity thing. Have you seen Blackfish? Yeah, I mean, that put me over the edge. Hey, they they, their fins go down and it's shit. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's like being in a bathtub for 20 years. I totally would have eaten a person. I would have eaten a whole person, not just the young. <laughs> hang on, hang on. It's big. You know they kill great whites in the, in the open. Hold that thought. Yeah, Nick. What's going on? It's been over a week. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Well, he's protected pretty good. And, and this is Beverly Hills. It's not like Philly or AC. He, he doesn't spend much time with his old no, I know you wanted it done. All right, all right, all right. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just do it. Okay? Just do it. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to move. He wants it done. Yeah, but what, what about the father? You yeah, well... see that ass? Patience isn't exactly Nikki's strong suit. God, it's beautiful here. Huh? Look at this. I could really get used to this place. Okay. No, no, no. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, speak to you later. Bye. <clears throat> did you have fun last night? I did. Too much. <laughs> so how are you liking L.A.? 
I'm getting used to it. I have so many friends out here, but for some reason I feel very disconnected. Lots of plans canceled, uh, no one wants to drive anywhere, that sort of thing. Sounds like you know it well. <laughs> I feel like no one wants to leave a five mile radius. Speaking of which, have you been to MoCA downtown? The museum? No, I haven't even been downtown yet. Well, it's open late tonight, and I happen to be a member. A charter member? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. The Rauschenbergs are excellent, and uh, downtown is a happening scene. I don't know. I, I well, should... Come on. Perhaps. Consider it an extension of our education, or at least an attempt by me to finish mine. <laughs> you are so vastly different than when I first met you. Usually by this point, you've invited me to Las Vegas or Ibiza. You know, I'm, I'm working things out with my father, and that's not always easy. You work for your father. You must know what I mean. I do. Exactly. So come on. How about a museum run and a bite to eat? Okay. Sounds lovely. Great. Great. Sorry to make you wait. I'm not sure how my dad would feel about this, so. No worries. Shall we? Uh, do you mind if we take my car? Is that okay? Not a problem. Okay, cool. Man, I told you we'd be late. I thought that was Carrie Underwood, all right? Carrie Underwood, what's the matter with you? Just relax, all right? Jesus. Look, there's his car. This is actually where I dumped the body of the last girl tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay, that's exciting. This is so cool, where are we? It's like you're not in LA, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, we have a choice. What? We can do sushi in Little Tokyo, mm -hmm. or my favorite spot by the rail yards, which is just around the corner, we can even walk. Well, if it's your favorite spot, then we have to go. After you. Thank you. Should I put my jacket down? Oh. Yes, please. I understand. He gives us the orders, he's got a convertible. Why don't we just blow him the fuck away, for Christ's sakes? What's the matter with you, huh? What are we, a couple of uh, uh, two-bit contract killers? This is for family, huh? This is, this is personal. I'm gonna look this fucking guy in the eye, and I'm gonna blow his fucking brains out. And then we're gonna go have a nice meal. Kavish? We, um... Shamefully, do not have a reservation, but we're hoping that perhaps you could find us a table somewhere. Of course. I have the perfect table for you right this way. We lucked out. Like your pocket square, is that what that's called? Mm -hmm. That's my color, I think. Red? It's orange. Orange? Yeah. Oh, you're colorblind. No, but it's orange. No, it's red. It's orange. That is not orange. It's orange. There's no way that's Honey, orange. Honey, it's, it's the light. It is not. <laughs> you tell me a guy ripped me off? Yes. You know, the DVD that I was warned about usually tips strippers $100 bills. But I'm sure you wouldn't know anything about that. Well, you know, Italians are equal opportunity tippers. But look, I, I, I know that I have this reputation but the truth is that I never really felt comfortable in those places. Uh, it's just taken me a while to figure out what I'm doing with my life. What are you doing with your life? That's a good question. I'll believe you now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, cheers. Cheers. Well, obviously, I have a place set aside in my father's business. But I've always been interested in education and working with underprivileged children. Wow. That was so wonderful. I'm not just saying that. Yeah, I've been volunteering with kids, too. Really? Yeah. Um, are you familiar with City Heights? Oh, the arts program. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I've been volunteering with them since college. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
So how does, how does an arts major become a lawyer? Well, um, when I was a kid, my parents used to argue a lot, and I used to like to pretend to be the mediator. I would have each one of them tell me their sides of the story, and I would serve as the judge and jury. Needless to say, it didn't work, obviously, because they're divorced now, but... So your mom is a lawyer, too? Oh, no. No, no, no. She's a painter. But I have zero artistic talent. So it wasn't so. much of a choice. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> Uh, and then I was, you know, working at a Wall Street law firm, hating it, missing my father, who I didn't get to grow up with. And I realized he has spent his entire life building this amazing, successful law firm, and I really should be a part of it. I'm sure you know something about that, right? Yes, I, I do, yeah. Well, we have champagne. Do you, uh, do you happen to like oysters? I love oysters. I could live on oysters and champagne. Well, let's get some oysters. Sure, what's up? Come on, get out of the water. I need to talk to you. Okay, right away, right away. What's this? Open it. Wait, is something wrong? Just open a file, will you? Here's a deal. I've been doing a little acting on a sack, you know? Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Good good for you, Len. Yeah, I just... Just met with this Asian He tells me my pictures are no good, my acting sucks. I mean, he basically told me to go f myself. What do you think? Oh, well, um... I don't know. I mean, uh... The, uh, the picks aren't so great. Uh, who, who took them? Yes. Check them out in the Culver City. Oh, well, you should hire a pro, man. I mean, not that she's not a pro. Uh, well, I mean, you, you know what I mean. Uh, you know a good photographer? Yeah, I know, I know a few. I'd, I'd be happy to set you up, but it's not cheap. I mean, are you serious about perception? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. I mean, it would take a lot for me to leave Angelo, because, I, I, you know, let's face it, I'm extremely loyal, but... TV series, maybe a movie, you know, like, well, I guess they're looking after me. Of course. Truth is, I'm starting to hit a, a roadblock in my work, too, you know? Well, how long have you been acting, man? About six months. Oh, <laughs> well, then that's not a long time. I mean, you should get into class with a, with a good teacher. I ain't got time for no teacher in class. Are you shit me? I'm 55 years old. I ain't got time for that shit. It's either gonna happen or it's not. 
tell you what I need. I need like an advisor. I need someone, you know, that's gonna be like a, you know, like, like a coach. That's what I need. I need like a coach. Maybe you can be my coach. Hey, you're doing a great job, of Stevie D. Everyone's impressed, including myself. Len, I don't, I don't know. Come on, what are you gonna do? Lie around the pool all day? Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Man. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You comfortable here? Everything good? I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah. You know, I almost got carjacked last night. A couple of guys in an SUV ambushed me as I was getting into my car. Oh, yeah? Wow. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I, I've never had a car anybody wanted before. Yeah, they, they, they must have been at the car, I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I'm fine. Everything's great. Hey, listen, I gotta run a few errands for Angela. I'll be back about 4 o'clock when we get started, okay? I'll be in the pool. I look forward to it. You know, you're starting to sound more like Stevie D every day. <laughs> what I'm saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jack, is that my investors and I will be making a huge investment up front. There's very little recourse if the terms of the deal change beyond their control. You know, I really have to say I'm not very comfortable with that. Dario Laurentis. Hi there. Hi. Where are you? I'm on Roxbury between Wilshire and Little Santa Monica. <laughs> Where are you? The same. Lunch? Oh, I want to. But there's a little problem in that both your father and my father, especially my father, would not want me getting involved with a client or his son. Well, you know, I, I, I think we should talk about this. Mm, I'm going into a meeting. Can you come down in an hour? Stevie. Do you want to see me? Of course I do. All right, then be out front in an hour, and uh, we're flats. Okay. Okay. This place looks good right here. Maybe we go to dinner there tonight. What is it? It's Italian joint. It's the, they say they got the best meatballs in town. Yeah, let me, I'll be the judge of that. I want a good meatball, I go to South Philly, huh? Anything else is an excuse. But we're not in South Philly, so I'm I, just... I know, but I don't want a meatball in L.A. We're in L.A. I want sushi. I, I, I want something I can't get in Philly. Sushi? Yeah. Raw fish? Ooh, speaking of which, what we have here, huh? Ooh, little afternoon delight. <laughs> uh, huh? Yeah. I don't feel wow. too bad for this jerk off. He's gonna go out with a bang, huh? Yeah. I don't get it. How come I can't get a girl like that? Because you haven't solved your family origin issue yet. What? Never mind, just drive. I told you to stay close. Where the fuck did they go? Stay close. I don't know these roads. I grew up two blocks uh, from you. For God's I'm so sake. I'm sorry. I missed the fucking turn. <sighs> we'll put it. Uh, put it on your ways. Ways. Yeah. Uh, I use a paper map from the AAA. This is so cool. Where are we? <laughs> it's like you're not in LA, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go back. Next stop sign, make a right. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. I'm not making a right. We, we gotta go, go straight. Oh, for God's sake, they go up to, God's sake, they go up in the hills. Go straight. Fine, we're going go up. up there. We go up, and then we're gonna have to turn around. You don't know what you're talking uh, about. Ah, forget about it. Why don't you call in sick? Food poisoning always works. I have so much work to do. Mm. Well, what are you doing tomorrow night? Nothing. How about I cook you dinner? Where are we gonna do this at? Your place. My place isn't ready yet. I'm still staying with my father. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're a couple of adults who need to move out of the house. Yeah. Well, I have an idea. Hmm. Um, I have this friend who has this place in Hollywood. It's not fancy, but it's tasteful, I think. Mm hmm Anyway, he's out of town for a few months, and he said, you know, if I needed to, I could crash there. Is this, like... Some kind of joint you set up for your, all your girls or something. <laughs> Darling, I can promise you, Stevie D has never had a girl at this apartment. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so fucking bored. Yeah, we need new girls. No, we need action. I can't take it anymore. I think I should go down to L.A. and whack this motherfucker myself. I mean, he's driving my car, he's using my plastic. I heard he's banging Nicole from Dolce Vita. What? That's what I heard. I used to hit that. Fuck.
think I want to be alone? Hey, Frank. Carl, I haven't seen you in a while. You didn't see me. Yeah, I won't remember anyway. Hi. Hi. I found you. After you. <laughs> so, as I said, uh, someone I know lives here, and, you know, they're not around, so... It's like we're not in L.A., right? Oh, no, this is exactly like L.A. to me. It's really charming. It looks like hell from the outside, but I'm kind of impressed. Whoever lives here has very good taste. You think? Don't be jealous. You have good taste, too. <laughs> this is for dinner. Oh, lovely. We'll get to that later. Isn't it amazing this is all we need? Yeah. With all that our parents have given us and all our ambition, we have a picnic in the hills and a wonderful evening in this little tiny apartment and the world is perfect. A tasteful little tiny apartment. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, it's Lenny, I better get it. Hey, Len. What's up? Just checking in. Where are you? Uh, I'm out. Does it matter? Listen, I'm picking up new headshots tomorrow. I, I, I need some help. Lynn, you know, now is not a good time. Can, can we talk tomorrow? Uh, meet me at 10 a.m. 101 Diner. Okay, good. See you then. Hey, and be careful on your way over. <laughs> Why? Uh, I'm just saying. Strange guy. <laughs> Where were we? There he comes. There he comes. There you he sure? is. That's him. Yeah, that's him. Hey, Lynn. Hey. Hey, thanks for coming. My pleasure. He's right there. Show me what you got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this, this, right. and this. Well, these are good, Lenny. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh. All right. Well, he, this is my take. When every actor has a has an essence that makes them more castable in certain parts. For my money, this is you. That's funny because that was my favorite too. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> That's great. I feel so much better. This is great. What do you think they're talking about? No idea. Hey, you know what I need now? I need to get an agent. That's what I need. Yeah, who doesn't? Mine just dropped me. Your agent dropped you? Yeah. How many break his legs? <laughs> no, I mean, he's like 80 years old. He just got tired and closed up shop. All right, just let me know. But I tell you, once this is done, you and I are both going to get kick-ass agents. Yeah. Those are great, man. You're gonna get some work with those. Man, this is taking forever. What could be so hard? This guy's he's running around town, spending money, having a good time. He couldn't be more visible if I hung him from a billboard. <sighs> hey, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sending him to Vegas to meet up with uh, Tony Mooch. Tony's connected to the East Coast, and he can't keep his mouth shut. Word will travel fast, and it's better that it happens in Vegas. Easier to clean up there. I gotta go. What do you think? Mm, uh, I, I don't like it. I told you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's my girl. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I like playing with you. Mm, me too. 
I just wish we didn't have to be so secretive about everything. Well, what do you think about this? Now, don't say anything. Just listen. How about coming to Vegas with me this weekend? I knew it. I knew the real Stevie D would come out. All this romance and vulnerability and... <laughs> no, I, I said listen, okay? I, I, I have some business to do for the old man. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal, but, you know, we could be together without worrying. I'd have to explain to my father why I'm going somewhere I completely detest. Well, come on, you're a big girl. Okay, fine. I'm in. <laughs> Stevie D? Yeah. Hey, Chris Mucciarino, man. How you doing, man? Hey. Hey, you getting in all right? You? Yeah, man, great. An easy yeah. flight from L.A. Anyway, you want to come uh, meet my father? Yeah, let's go. All right, yeah. Hey, Dad, this is Stevie D. Hey, Stevie D, Anthony Mucciarino, eh? Call me Mooch. So your old man tells me you want to learn all about the construction business. Oh, he didn't give me much of a choice. He, he's one tough gun only, that old guy. <laughs> well, come on, let's go. It's almost tea time, all right? Here, have one of these. Oh, beautiful. Come on, you meet the rest of the crew, all right? Hey. It's great to see you. You're riding my car. I can't. I'm actually out of town for the weekend. Where? <laughs> Dad, what difference does it make? You'll know when I'm home because you'll see me. Okay. Okay, bye. Where the fuck did that caddy go? Oh. All right. 18 handicap my ass. Forget about it. You turned into Tiger Woods. I got lucky. Now. I got yeah, lucky. You got lucky. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Get it's the hell out of here. What are you doing? You want fair and square, good. more or less. Here, here. Take it. It's only fucking paper anyway. Oh, hey, by the way, what I told you about Nikki Beans, you know, banging the old man's daughter. Hey, Stasi, hey. keep that to ourselves. I won't say we'll both wind up in a fucking <laughs> jackpot, all right? Do me a favor. I'd love for you to hang out with Chris a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. He'd be a good influence on him. He's a good kid, but he's a little bit of a fucking loose cannon. Maybe you and him could run around and grab some nice Las Vegas brajol together. You know, I, uh, I got a girl with me in town. Oh, you brought your own brajol. That's even better. Saves you from chasing it around, huh? Speaking of the devil. Hey, hey Stevie D, good hanging with you, man. Around, man. Hey, listen, me and my uh, buddies are going to get a house in Malibu. You know, you should come to a party our balls off, you know? I'm in. Yeah, So, right. uh, how you getting back to the hotel? I'm just called Cap. Ah, fuck that. Yeah, take my Mercedes. Oh, Tony, you don't take have to the do Benz, it. the white convertible. Enjoy yourself. Somebody will pick it up later. All right. How come I don't get to ever drive it then? Oh, figure it out. How come? <laughs> All, All right, right take, it take it easy. Great guy, huh? You want to carry these for me? Can't do it this weekend. What are you talking about? A couple of major casino stockholders just flew in. No messes. What are you talking about? What are you? It's a big town. How many guys get whacked in Vegas on a normal weekend anyway? Sorry, Nick. The boss wants it quiet this weekend. And that's that. Jesus Christ. Yeah. OK. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. OK. Everything okay, baby? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Hey, Len, I, I, I just talked to uh, Tony Mooch. They loved him. What a great kid, blah, blah, blah. I guess they sent the wrong guy into hiding, huh? Are you happy? Very. Feels good to be away from everything, right? Yeah, it does. Hey, what's wrong? I feel like I should come clean. About what? I feel like I should tell my father. Hmm. Look, Daria, I, I don't think that's a good idea right now. Why? I mean... Your father won't mind. It's mine that has a problem with everything. 
Look, there's a lot we need to straighten out, but I, I just think it's best if we leave everyone else out of it and, and make it about you and me. Why? My father asked me specifically not to get into any messes, so I negotiated a few deals. I think running off to Las Vegas with his lawyer's daughter qualifies as a mess. Just give me some time, please. Okay. I trust you. So what are we doing tonight? Ever play craps? No, I haven't actually. Are you no. teach me? I'm gonna teach you. And we're gonna win. <laughs> God, you made it back. Yeah, I made a killing at the tables. I'll tell you, since I took this gig, my luck has changed. I can't wait to get back and start auditioning again. That's why I'm here. I got called in for something. Hey, that's great. Yeah, it's a movie about the mafia in Los Angeles. I didn't know there was any. Hey, it's a movie. They call me in for wise guy type. You know, really, I, I hate to get typecast because I feel like I got so much more range than that, but you know, I'll take it a start. Hey, Harvey Keitel says all actors are typecast and it's up to the actor to break out of that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Hey, take a look at this. Look. This is my guy here. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's work on it. It's all static. I can't hear anything. Where'd you learn the set of mic? Radio Shack? I was in a rush. Look, Lenny, this, this scene is about justice. That's what you want. You have to make this personal. Right, personal, okay. I want justice. But can I bring the script in? I'm worried about forgetting my lines. Oh, yeah, of course, look. Yeah, most actors get the part just by the way they walk into the room. Now, what that means is that you gotta bring something in there with you. You mean like a prop or something? No, 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 I mean like, like an intention. Like, I'm in here for something and I'm gonna get it. Okay, 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 good, good. Uh, good. Can we take it again? Yeah, let's right, go. Right, okay. um, what makes you think you can hold my feet to the fire on this? I got no beef with Tommy. Who, who's Tommy? Now all of a sudden he's too busy. I was promised something here. I don't care if I got his cell phone is too close to the mic. We had an arrangement. It's that, that click, 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 click noise. No, 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 I mean like an intention. Yeah. Okay, good. Spoken like a true so sound engineer. The they built this place. We had an, an arrangement that you will be responsible for anything that happens. What the fuck is now, going on? Now you're too fucking busy. You're off running around banging broads in Vegas. A different broad every night. <laughs> Sorry, Lynn. Let me turn that off. This kind of improv a little bit there. You know, it felt it brought me closer to the material. That shit hurt. And I was talking about you. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize my sex life was causing you angst. Are you really mad at me? No, of course not. Uh, okay, well then, then take a second and think about somebody that did something to you. Good. <laughs> I'm ready. Of course I am. Whoa, whoa, hey, we're back. Now all of a sudden? You're too fucking busy? I was promised something here. Didn't they say that already? Mm -hmm. I don't care if I have to tear this house down brick by brick the same way I built it. I'm going to get an excess. No, no, no. <laughs> that was great, Len. <laughs> I, I had like a real breakthrough. I mean, I'm, I'm talking like a real breakthrough, like, a, you know, like Bon Jovi was talking about with James Lipton on the actor's studio. <laughs> I believe you. Now, look, tomorrow, bring all that in with you. Just, just don't throw anything. Okay, all right, all right, good, good. Okay, next time I'm setting the mic. 
come I am doing everything I possibly can to convince the mayor, but because we are appealing for stimulus money, there are a lot of firms competing for this bit, yeah. diversity firms. And that's a bunch of bullshit, because the fucking government isn't paying for anything. The Kowalski brothers, and they want me to build it. So uh, what's the problem, madam? Uh, DeMarco Industries has been a Los Angeles company for over 50 years. It's, uh, it's uh, a family business. You need to convince the mayor. So what am I paying you for? Listen, look, get me, a, get me a dinner, a lunch, or a fucking taco with him. Whatever he wants, okay? Okay. Lenny says... Yeah. This is Puglio, right here. All right, sir, come on in. Okay. Pick and rest? Oh, huh? I'll need your headshot and resume. Oh, yeah, yeah, get it right here. Here you go. Here you go. You know, I walked him, did my pick and res. We went out, it was great. That's great, Lynn. You know, I've been doing yoga. It's been helping with the breathing and the focus. You ever try it? Yeah, all the time. You know, if I was you, I'd be banging half those bars in that yoga class. <laughs> Lenny, can I ask you something? Yeah, hey, what's up? It's about what I'm doing for Angelo. What about it? Well, I, I met someone recently, and we've been seeing a lot of each other. Yeah, I know. The brunette with the big cans over at Dolce. <laughs> that, that, that was a one-time thing, and I'd, I'd appreciate it if you'd never mention that again. This is a serious woman. I've never met anyone like her. She's a beautiful, intelligent, serious woman. I think I like the boss, and the better. What's the problem? Well, for starters, she thinks I'm someone else. She thinks I'm Stevie D. And you would think that if she finds out you're an unemployed actor with no job and no credits to really speak of that, she's not going to like you, right? Well, I was hoping she could get over that. What I don't think she can get over is my lying to her. I, I got to come clean, Lenny. Look, we'll get you out of this soon, kid. You'll get your life back. And then you can explain to this girl you had a job to do for a good reason. Like you always say to me, we bring ourselves to the character. This girl, she don't like the character. She likes you. And if she gets that, she's the one. And if not, fuck it. You go back to banging bartenders. <laughs> Thanks, Len. This is a playground. This is no good. You know, uh, you don't think you can get a shot, huh? Well, I, I don't want to take a chance with little kids. Hello, Michael! Going, Where have you been? Oh, look at you. You're all dressed up like a movie star. Did you make it big? Not yet, but I'm close. I promise. We are expecting a very special guest today. Can you stay? I can't, unfortunately. I don't even see where he's at. This guy's so fucking elusive. Uh, fuck it. Let's hit the beach, huh? Yeah. Well, look, I, I can't say much, but things have been going very well. Well, I'm so happy. Yeah, in fact, I want to donate this to the club if I can. Oh, my God. Yeah, I also got lucky in Vegas. Cash? Vegas is kind of a cash town. Ay, Dios mío. Do you want to be on the board of directors? Look, if anyone asks about me being here today, tell them I'm Stevie D. <laughs> right. Michael Athers. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Michael. Right over there. And here, I remember, we used to have story time. And everyone would read a story, the kids would be sleeping. Hey. 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 Want to see my drawing? Want to see my drawing? Yes. Can we get the flashcards? Flash yes, we can. Hi. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Bye. Goodbye. I wish I got that reception when I walked in a room. Senator Barbara Garcia. You're the special guest. I'm uh, Stephen DeMarco. I, you can call me Stevie D. I'm just a volunteer here. Oh, no such thing as just a volunteer. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Stevie D. You as well. Enjoy your visit. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, good Are we going to be on time? That's what I'm concerned about. Okay, Mr. LaCosta, we should be in touch in about two weeks. I really appreciate you coming in today. Have a great day.
Hey, Lenny. Hey, where are you? I'm getting a massage. <laughs> Fuck, did I call the right Stevie? No, it's me, Lenny. Look, Angie needs you tonight for a very important business meeting at Dolce V at 7 o'clock. And put on a suit. And don't worry about the brunette. I told her to take the night off. Lenny, I don't know anything about the business. You already know more than Stevie does. I'll be there. Crap. Now I have to reschedule my facial. Thank you again. Sorry about the last minute notice, General. I don't know. Not at all. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, Mr. Mayor. Uh, sparkling water, please. So, Mr. DeMarco. Call me Angelo, please. Angelo. For a man who has little interest in politics, you seem to have been working very hard to get on my calendar. Well, I was actually talking to Mr. DeMarco about getting involved with your re-election campaign when the subject of the football stadium came up. So, you don't want to talk politics tonight? Well, well, we'll see. First and foremost, I want you to meet my, my son and successor, Stephen DeMarco, and give you a better sense of my family's involvement in the growth of this fine city. What do you think the prospects are of Los Angeles getting a team? I think they're pretty good. So this isn't a, if you build it, they will come deal? <laughs> well, if we don't build it, they won't come. Or if we let another developer build it, say, in the Inland Empire, uh, Mr. Mayor would not like to be in your shoes if pro football comes back to Southern California and ends up in Diamond Bar. You have a family business, I understand. So, legacy is important to you? Barry? Well, my legacy, what I hope my legacy will be after your next term. <laughs> well, let's hope none of our legacies are coming up too yes. soon. Huh? Well, my legacy, I hope, will be the doubling of the public transportation system. Mr. Mayor, this is Hang a great opportunity. To that goal, I have worked with community leaders and developers and whomever it takes to get people behind my projects. Now, do I doubt that your massive and very impressive corporation can handle a civic contract like this? Not at all. But do I think you deserve it merely because the financial backers request that you build it? I do not. Not while I deal with companies just like yours who are committed with me to making a difference in all the communities of Los Angeles, not just the high rises on the west side or the mansions north of sunset but then barbara arturo <laughs> i knew i couldn't escape l.a without running into you <laughs> escape l.a you're an angelino have you forgotten your roots no. <laughs> uh, you know my deputy adam Lerner. yes and this it's you again stevie d right <laughs> indeed it's good to see you again senator so you know angelo and his son no i have not met angelo Pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. I know the name quite well. Thank you. You should be very proud of your son. I met him this afternoon at the Hollywood Community Center where he is a star volunteer. I was very moved by your impact on those children. It's been my pleasure. He's, he's given us a lot to be proud of. Did you know I was a student at that center? Um, <clears throat> years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I barely spoke English and my parents spoke no English at all so they couldn't help me with my homework. But thanks to the sender and people like you, I made it out. You are doing a wonderful, wonderful thing. And that's why I fight for federal funding. Speaking of funding, we're talking about a football stadium. <laughs> yes. No, seriously. Arturo, L.A. needs a football team. I know. Now, how long can a girl root for Oakland? <laughs> <laughs> well, we need stimulus dollars for infrastructure to close the deal. I think you have a very, very fine team here. Call me Monday, I'll see what I can do. Gentlemen, buen provecho. <laughs> Gracias, bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Come on, ladies. Uh, so, uh, where were we? All right, all right. This is the place. Yeah. yeah. And they're both inside. It's an added bonus. Yeah, well, do me a favor, will you? Leave it on the street. I don't want to be waiting for some valet after we get done blazed. Oh, fuck, we're not even getting close to this place. Look at all these cars. Jesus, what's with all the muscle? Fucking goons everywhere. Hey, you, amigo, 
Come here a second. What's going on in here, man? Very special night. Oh, yeah? It's Carrie Underwood inside. The mayor and the governor are with us. Oh, great. Terrific, thanks. Tell them we send our regards. Let's get out of here. Give a fuck about the mayor and the governor. Yeah, tap it off for you a little bit. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Yeah. So, you're Scott Shrinker, too. Yeah, you know, it's actually one of the few memories I have of my father. He, he would um, have one after work, and he'd pick me up to play with him, and <laughs> I could smell it on him. Uh, my father never drank. How long have you been working with these kids? Oh, about uh, five or six years. Hmm. You know, it's good that you do that kind of stuff. Man, my son never got involved in anything like that. He just, you know, he, he doesn't know how lucky he is. Yeah, maybe it's my fault. I, I don't know if he's going to be the guy to, to run this company. Time is running out on both of us. Well, I'm, I'm sure you can work it out. And, and, and if not, you must have other options for the business. Yeah, I could have sold it a million times, but I knew how important it was for my father to have his name on it. I had one child, and it was a son. I realized how lucky I was to have him to groom. But I blew it. You know, I spoiled him and uh, didn't put the time in. Selfish was what it was. And uh, now he's like that. <laughs> I would do anything for my son. I wouldn't do that for anyone else in the world. I <laughs> had so many goddamn women. That's all meanings. The, uh, the only true love in the world is the uh, love between a father and a son. It's winning. That was a stroke of luck tonight. <laughs> yeah. They can't cut me out now. Good night, Bill. Good night, Angel. You want to top off? Good night, sir. No, sir. You have a good night, everybody. Okay. Thank Thanks, Angel. Right. You're welcome. How about you? A little bit. There you go. Hi. I want to see you. Hi. Well, I took for granted having you all to myself last weekend. Well, look, I just finished dinner. Uh, why don't you meet me over at the Beverly Park Hotel? I hear the tubs there are very deep. Don't tease me. I'm pulling an all-nighter. It stinks having a job, doesn't it? Yes, thank you. Well, I guess I'm bubble bathing alone, then. You better be CVD. I better be Stevie D is right. What are you doing here? I came here to offer my services. You did not come here to work. No, I did. I really did. What can I do? I mean, I can't type, and I know nothing about the law, but delegate away. Are you serious? Look, you can send me away if you want, but the only place open at this hour are strip clubs. <laughs> well, can you do some research? Research? I love to research. But I will warn you, I've had several scotches, so I hope nobody's life is at stake. All right. Get over here. Let's see what you've got. Do you know how to highlight? I'll show you. Okay. Uh, well, don't highlight that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's great. Oh my god, what time is it? It's uh, 5.30. Oh, you gotta go. Go, 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 go. Now. What? Now? Yes, you gotta get out of here. I don't know how you work oh, in an office. God. I could never do this. <laughs> All right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, before you go, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Will you come to an event with me on Friday night? Well, what's the event? <laughs> I'm joking. I'll go anywhere. It's um, for City Heights, um, and I promise it'll be the best night of your life. 
Better than last night? Much better than last night. And I'll even get us a room at the Beverly Park Hotel for that night. Well, I, I think I see a bubble bath in our future. Oh. Okay, go. Get out. Go. Oh, God. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Will you? Over here. Here, right there. Oh, shit. Here we go. There it is. Strike! I hate this game. All right. Hang on, hang on. It's Nikki. Hello. You guys should be his fucking bodyguard. There's not one hair on his head harmed since I put you two on the job. It's been over a fucking month. The guy's gonna die on natural causes before you get to him. What is he guarded by the fucking Secret Service? There's stuff going on here beyond our control. We can't get near the guy. You know what? Put the other shit through on the phone. Put him on the phone now! Yeah, okay, hold on, Nikki. He wants to talk to you. I don't want to talk to him. He wants to talk to you. Why do I want to talk to him? Hey, Nikki. What's up, man? You listen to me, you stupid prick. You're in charge now, you understand? You! This is your last chance you get it done. Just ring the fucking doorbell in the house and kill whoever answers the goddamn door. Is that so difficult? I don't care where this guy is, who he's banging, what he's eating. Just get it done or don't you show your ass here again. You understand? So what'd he say? Um, he said that, uh, I'm in charge. Okay, so what's the plan? <sighs> plan? Play some more tennis. Come on. I don't want to play any more tennis. Stop and get over there. Hey, Lenny, what's up? Never gonna believe this. I got that thing I went in for. Hey, that's great, man. I believe it. I'm really nervous, though, because, you know, I've never been on a real set before, you know? I mean, what do I do when I get there? Oh, relax. I'll go over everything with you. Just... Enjoy this day. Getting that call is one of the best days of your life. Hey, I'm gonna stop by later, all right? You know, I'm going to this event tonight in Beverly Hills. Uh, you going out? Yeah, is that okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, co yeah, of course. Hey, uh, I need a tailor. Do you know who Angelo uses? Um, yeah, uh, uh, Rosaria down on, uh, on Brighton Way. Great. Thanks, Len. Congratulations, man. Hey, Ronnie, it's Lynn. Listen, Stevie D's going to Rosario's down on Brighton Way. I want you to get a guard on him. Don't let him out of your sight. You hear me? All right. Can I help you? Lenny sent me. You just go on about your business. I'm invisible. <laughs> You're invisible? Is something wrong? I don't know nothing about all that. I'm just here to make sure you get around safely. Well, I could use a driver tonight. Whatever you need, Mr. DeMarco. Great. I'll see you at the house at 7. You look amazing. Thank you. You too. What is this? Oh. Oh my god. Do you like them? Yes. Um No, they're too expensive. I yeah, I didn't ask you for financial advice. I asked if you liked them. Oh my god, Stevie. They're so beautiful, but I I, I can't. It's too much. You're more than enough. Look, I've waited a long time to be able to give something like that to someone I feel this way about. I want you to have them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And we got a tremendous settlement out of that. So I think uh, I think we can do business. Thanks. 
Great. Yeah, good, good. Uh, excuse me, will you? Sure. You're right, that was the best night of my life. <laughs> hey, have a great day. You too. <laughs> Daria. Dad? What are you doing? I was just getting coffee with a friend. That's one hell of a coffee. I just saw you kissing Stevie DeMarco. Dad, are you out of your Dad, mind? please. Can we please be What are you about doing this? with this Dad, guy? Dad, I wasn't going to tell you because I knew you would react this way. No, please, stop. I just want what's best for you, Dar Small French press, Irish oats, no cinnamon. Oh, yeah, dates would be nice. Yes, 507. Thank you. Hi. Everything okay? This is so awful. I just ran into my dad. He saw me with you. Where? At the hotel? <sighs> yes. God, I feel so stupid. I mean, this is so unnecessary. I'm an adult. Why am I tiptoeing around? Look, Daria, I, I need to, um, I, I need to tell you something. What? Nothing. We'll, we'll talk later. Everything will be fine. I promise. You want chocolate or vanilla frosting? Chocolate with sprinkles. Oh, Stevie, you want to go see a movie? Fuck that. I was thinking maybe I should go blonde after this. Some highlights, maybe? Holy shit. What? Check this out. What is it? I don't think you want to see this. Like I said, the fucking guy looks just like him. Looks like he got De Laurentiis to go out with him. Looks to me like you gotta do a whole hell of a lot more than that. What the fuck? Something is going on here. You can't tell me something is not going on here. Pack your bags. We're going back to L.A. Get my life back. The mayor sentences congratulations. He is... Very happy that this project is moving forward with DeMarco Industries. Adam, thank you for all your efforts and just a little token of my appreciation. Stevie, he's in an important meeting. He's in an important meeting. I need to see him right hey, now. What are you doing here? Something is going on and I can't straighten it out. Listen, I'm, I'm, I have an important meeting. You can't be Dad, here. something is going on. This guy is driving my car. He's using my plastic. He's dating Daria. You know how long I've been working that? You go to the guest house now. Dad! Now! How you reach Lenny? You know it. Damn it, Lenny, where the hell are you? Ronnie, this is Angelo. I need you at the house immediately. Stevie's back. I want a bodyguard on him at all times. What do you mean you're already on, Stevie? So these are our uh, last two Priuses. Cool, thank you. Priuses? Appreciate it, thank you. All right. I don't get it. What? What are we gonna do with these? What? Well, look, the way I look at it is we gotta be invisible out here, man. We gotta blend, we gotta, we gotta mix in with people. Oh, great, so we're gonna blend better in a couple of glorified golf carts than we did in the rapper movie. Yes, as a matter of fact, we are, oh. okay? So now, look, which one do you want? We're gonna be late to yoga. Fine, I want the dark one. Fine. And I wanna go to hot yoga. Fine. Keys! What the fuck? Hey! hey. Stood Where'd you go? Hey, what's going on? My son is back. What? What the hell are you wearing? Oh, I was in a yoga class. That's all I need right now. Why were the bodyguards on the other guy, the actor? I call Ronnie and I, I say to him, get on Stevie. He tells me that he's on Stevie for two days. What the hell is going on? Christ, James, he's a good kid. We had a heart to heart about some things. I felt bad for him. He was going on a date, so, so I told the bodyguards to keep an eye on him. I can't believe it. Do you know that he's involved with my lawyer's daughter? Do you know that? Hey, Ange, I swear to God, I knew nothing about that. It's, Ron it's Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie. What the hell do you mean that Stevie's not in the house? Where is he? Sit down. Daria, I'm back. The real Stevie D. Daria? 
for your things. Your bedroom. Who are you? I, uh... You know, I don't want to know. I just came to get my things. Dari, this is very complicated. Why did you do this to me? I wanted to tell you, but I... Was this I just, just a game to you? No, every moment has been real from the first time I saw you. You have to know that, don't you? I don't know anything anymore. I don't even know who you are. No, you do know who I, I am. I'm another step chief. Dari, you, you know me. I want to go. Come on. Lenny, it's Michael. Things have gone really wrong. People know I'm not Stevie. You're kidding me. Meet me at the house. How could you not come to me with something like this, huh? I've been your lawyer for over 20 years. I've gotten you out of jams worse than this. Tell me something. How can a man as powerful as you pull off such a childish stunt like this, huh? Chad, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was, I was embarrassed, I was scared, and I didn't see a way out. You didn't see a way out? No. This is my daughter, Angelo. My daughter! Every second she's with this guy, her life is in danger! Jack, I didn't know that. I swear on my, 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 my wife's grave. I didn't know that until yesterday! You didn't know? No. Go in, please. See, I just want to go home. I know Stevie D is back. There's nothing else for me to do here. It's not that simple. Look, I've done what was asked of me and more. Stevie wants his life back, and so do I. Lenny will see that you get your money. Thanks for your services. Thanks for everything, kid. Things quiet down, I'll give you a call, right? Break a leg, Lenny. Not literally. <laughs> yeah, you got a real breakthrough soon, I can feel it. I thought you two were gonna kiss. Where are my goddamn keys? Keys are in your car. I don't want that one, I want the one he was driving. Yeah, have a ball. I'm about to send Ronnie with you, okay? Fuck that. That loser pranced around town for a month, and the worst thing that happened to him was a bad blowjob. Fucking pop. Hold on. Oh, I think I got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got him. Yeah, wait, where are you at? I'm outside the joint in Hollywood where he shacks up with the girl. This car's in front of me. I'm gonna lose him. God damn it, you fucking asshole! me if you could please just listen I, I i know you have every right not to speak to me again but but please please just listen to what i have to say i i wanted to tell you everything that was going on last night but things just got so messed up i i i, I don't know what else to say look my my name is michael michael rose can can we just start with that If, if you could just 
Please call me back. Please, I, I miss you. What? I got him. What are you talking about? Yes, it was him. There's no doubt about it. He had the jag and the, the, the broad was with him. Lenny, this is Ricardo from La Dolce Vita. You must come immediately. Stevie D is dead. How the fuck should I know who the other guy was? But it wasn't him, because I just blew the motherfucker away. Well, uh, well, where are you now? I'm starving. No, no, we're not going to Musso and Frank's. No, we're going to go to Spago. I heard they got a great scene there. Yeah, Spago, the one, the Wolfgang Puck's place. Yeah, we watched him on television the other day. He made that Venus schnitzel. Yeah, you like Venus schnitzel. Stop being a gobble and meet me there. Hey, Carl. Hey, Frank. What the fuck? Hello? Hey, kid. It's Lenny. I just want you to know you're safe. Lenny, what is going on? Protect me. Look, I gotta run. Angelo needs me. We'll see each other again. The Indians? Oh, the Indians? Yeah. And you play in Little League? Michael, you're on TV. Oh, is it the commercial again? You're on the news. What? Federal agents have officially linked Stephen DeMarco to the event surrounding the death of Nick Grimaldi Jr. in a strip club in the Valley. Investigators have since revealed a macabre plan by DeMarco Industries family patriarch Angelo to protect his son from retribution by hiring an actor to play the role of his hunted son. The actor is a Los Angeles man named Michael Rose. It is oh, unclear no. at this time what his connection is with the events of that evening or the cover-up. What is clear immediately is the striking resemblance between Mr. Rose and Mr. DeMarco. Talk about your classic film noir Los Angeles. I, I, Jack I, 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 Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael. So what do you know about this Michael guy? I mean, I saw things. I didn't see things. So I don't yeah. know how much I can tell you right now for free. That's him right there. Tell Buddy. us who you are. Yeah. Did they pay you for this work? Were you aware you're being set up to die for another man? Fish tacos tonight? You're buying. I bought last time. So, listen, Michael, we're done here. Okay. <laughs> so what does that mean for me? It means you should be in the clear. And the right guy's dead. And it's gonna take us a while to figure out what Angelo's motives were. As of right now, his, his story matches yours, so and we don't have much to go on. You do know, though, that we had you under surveillance for a while. We even had you bugged. And we would have uncovered this sooner, but quite simply, uh, you had everybody fooled. Hello? Hey, Michael, this is John Lerner from WMA. I'd love to talk to you. You've been undiscovered far too long in my eyes. Has anyone discussed the movie rights to your story? Uh, no. Uh, John, could you hang on one second? Hello? Hi, Mike. Nancy Silver from ICA. Uh, hi, Nancy. Actually, it's Michael. Michael. Of course. And in my opinion, 
opinion, not enough people know your name. Would you like to have lunch? Okay. You gotta grow up. I'm running a multi-million dollar company here. And all you need to do is sit there and learn the business. No. You wanna be a gangster? You're only tough because of my money and the people I know. How am I gonna protect you? Cut! I loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, we're gonna move on. Hey, it wasn't too much, was it? Was it I don't know, man. It was great. Uh, thanks. I'll be in my room. Right? Sex. We're gonna punch in on this next right. one. Okay. And uh, come around. It's gonna be your yeah. shot. You just it wasn't it. too much, oh, was no, it? No, it was incredible. It was good. what you did to the place. It's like you're not in L.A. Oh, I'm definitely in L.A. <laughs> Meet me in Cognito, baby. We'll have nothing to hide. Let's go incognito, honey Let the world believe that we've died Meet me incognito, baby We'll leave our past behind us The present is always a mystery The future never fails to remind us Incognito there Every day's a surprise Incognito where Very good to play the game, amuse the gods, avoid the pain. But don't trust fortune, don't trust fame. Your real self doesn't know your name. And in that we're all the same, we're all incognito. She beat me down. Sweet beat away. Sweet beat away. Keep me beating up and you bugger your dad on all my way by day. Thank you.